So, the, but the wisdom is part of, is also like gravity, spiritual. You know, there's no little box of wisdom, although people package it up and sell it in Hallmark stores, but, you know, that's not wisdom. That's other people's ideas of what wisdom might be. But wisdom is the, the uh, is, is your spiritual nature connected to the larger to mind itself, to the to the ultimate energy of life, and and that was very difficult for a person like myself who was academically trained and was very dependent on being smart to do the work I did uh, to understand that you could do that. There was no shame in being smart and doing the work you do, but don't do life that way. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, it's okay when you're analyzing spreadsheets, but, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily make my big life decisions that way. And I think that that's, uh, there's a balance, you know, and, and uh, I think as Bill often quotes Einstein, you know, talking about the servant and the master. You know, when the, when the intellect is, is the master, um, things go awry, but when wisdom is the master, the intellect is the useful because wisdom guides the intellect. And so trusting your own wisdom is a part of coming in, coming in contact with your spiritual nature as a, as a being, knowing that there is a deeper, there are deeper truths, and then there's, it's like, it's like the ocean, you know, on the surface of the ocean could be a hurricane, but if you go deep, it's just the currents. They don't change. They just flow through the ocean. So the surface, our our day-to-day -day thinking is like the surface weather of on top of the ocean. Sometimes it's calm, sometimes it's a storm, sometimes it's a little bumpy. But deep down, we're always perfectly fine. And there's nothing wrong with anybody. <laughs>